Yo, what's up guys, it's Pyrex the CryptoPie and today we're going to discuss some things guys about indicators, about methods of trading and you know, and that there is no best, right? It's personal preference and you know, I honestly, I just mix them all up. So, um, this came to my attention because in my uh, Telegram group guys, in the CryptoPies blog, RG is asking, hey, what do you guys think of Elliott Wave? Well, Elliott Wave is uh, is just a theory, you know, just like uh, Wake Off Theory, or you have all these other things, right? All these bull flags and whatnot. And it's all trading methods. And uh, it's, it's all about probabilities, guys. It's not a certain thing that anything will happen. So, um, before we go on with this guys we are first going to go into Elliott Wave um, because you know that's your question right so Elliott Wave is for example a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4 and then a 5 right that is a motive wave up and then Elliott Wave also has ABC movements which are corrective waves so for example, or even even more, uh, this is a, for example, an A, a B, and a C, and then you have a one, an A, B, C again. So that's going to be an X. Um, so that is corrective waves, guys, and uh, it, it goes even further. But you have to look into it yourself. Like you have W X Y and W X Y Z. I mean, I can explain it you all right now, but uh, the video will be get. A little bit too long I think so that is just a method guys and to to get the three for example right what what we do is we measure the the, the one wave well there's again two methods to do that let you just draw a line then drag that line to the next spot and you get like the next top around there right? you would have sold that or can be a little bit more precise and we take the Fibonacci extension and we take the one back to the two and it barely reached but it nearly reached the 1.272 so you could front run it and sell it here um you know that is just a way guys now let's get rid of this now we got Elliott wave out of the way um now we're going to talk about just Fibonacci's right so Fibonacci here it retraced to a 382 and the top you could have for example sold a little bit at negative 236 negative 618 this is algo trading um you know thanks trade devil for that um just watch his channel guys um you you will find him just search trade devil on youtube you will find him he's like always trading with the algo targets which is also cool right and definitely pick something up from everything guys pick something up from Elliott Wave, from Elgo Trading, and you know, all the methods are there, right? So, this is another method. Then we have a method that I don't use, but, uh, and I don't even know how it exactly works, but it's called Wake of Theory, and it's something along the lines of, for example, here it would be uh, accumulation. Uh, I'm not sure, right? If this is accumulation I mean it could definitely still be distribution but it's a it's a theory that explains you accumulation and distribution and for example this would be this is just an example right this could be accumulation and then when we go further up somewhere here there will be distribution right um, that's another method and uh, I think that method is not that all that specified and it's not all that great so I don't like that method too much but uh that's because i probably didn't read too much into it and there's probably rules to it as well but what i like about la wave is there's strict rules for example a one is not allowed to go into a four etc except for with a uh, ending wave diagonal you know there there's rules to it so i like it but what i like the most guys and what everyone in their arsenal should know not i'm not saying use is is fibonacci right if you look at this Fibonacci here so we got to an 886 retracement guys all right and I know a lot of people don't have the 886 on there but the 886 is a Fibonacci number guys 
uh, you can look it up it's a Fibonacci number and um, it, it works perfectly right so we bounced here then we went up to the 786 just bounce bounce what do you think happens after we crush this target we go up to the 618 all right and the 65 the, the this the 65 is the golden pocket zone you know um so and after that the 0.5 you see all these resistance points right whether you want to draw it like this or from the top to the bottom right oh you will get kind of almost the same zones. I mean, we have to take the same bottom kind of, but uh, yeah, you get what I mean, right? So, I if you want to be accurate, you do when we go back up, you do it from the top to the bottom, right? You see this right here, and that wick has this wick. You always want to, you know, check your Fibonacci, see if they 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 mean anything right there and then, yeah so this is looking good and uh, yeah so Fibonacci's guys are my number one I'm then of course you got price action guys you cannot forget about price action right so for example this is a huge resistance right we can see that immediately on and this is just Bitcoin guys and you can do this on any chart this is also oh, resistance right you can see that very simple so where do you put your stops guys all right let's say you enter trade whether it's long i mean well, if it's short where do you put your stop you put it above here as crazy as it sounds or if you're a little bit more then you put it above here but you need to have some some kind of stop right if you go long where do you put your stop do you put it here or are you going to put it here all right so you, you just need to have a stop and uh, that's what I use price action the most for is for my stops and you know sometimes they line up with other methods and then we have another method guys you always see the Ichimoku cloud on my screen and that is for the method of Ichimoku trading I don't do it anymore but I still have the cloud just for support and resistance but the complete method goes something like this right so we're gonna get rid of the VWAP here and the EMAs because we're going to put the Ichimoku on here with the lagging spend base line and conversion line and we have the settings of 20 60 120 and 30 um, so if you go here 20 60 120 and 30 um, and this is basically how it works so um, the blue line here represents the Tenkan Sen right it's a it's a an average of the, the height divided by the lows um, I mean the height minus the lows divided by two or something and then the last 20 right so and then you have the Kijun Sen which is 60 and then you have the cloud which is the 120 and you know it keeps going and then the, the, the you know so so it's it's great guys but so it, it, you don't even need to understand any of this so the way you want to go long on this whether you use the one hour or whatever, right? We'll, we'll, we're on the four hour hit. So, for a longer term trade, the way you would use this is if price would come above the cloud, the Tenkan Sen cross the Kijun Sen to the bullish side. Tenkan Sen is above cloud, Kijun Sen is above cloud, price above cloud. And then we have last but not least the green one light right here which is Chico Span needs to be above cloud as well. And you know, that is your entry. Yeah. So yeah. Right, Tenka Sen above cloud, Kijun Sen above cloud, price above cloud, Chico Span above cloud. You entered here. You can drive there. So but it's absolutely not a good reason to exit a trade though. Um, you will always be very late so you know all indicators lag guys and then you even have some people all right we're gonna get, oh we're not gonna get rid of the whole cloud just gonna get rid of uh, the conversion base and lagging spend there um, then you have people that trade purely on EMAs right just the EMA cross and they're in going long 
simple. EMA cross going long, boom, right? So the higher the time frame, the better it will work. However, it will not always work, right? There's always probabilities, guys. You need to have your stops. So I don't care what way you trade, but you just need to have your stops. Um, you know that that's where it comes down to. You know whether you will use the VWAP to enter the the EMAs, whatever it is, you need to have that, right? And then, of course, we have the all famous triangle method, right? And uh, I definitely use this as well. So, uh, you know, this is very rough around the edges, but you get what I mean, right? So if this breaks to the upside, you're gonna go long. If this breaks to the downside, you wanna go short. Or you wanna go short here, be aggressive, and right, maybe close a little bit here already, and then close a bit more later on. Um, that is one way. Or, you know, you can go long on this path here, and vice versa, have your stop below here. And here, you have your stop above here or here. Right, so, um, that is also something you can do guys this is a triangle you know you had a uh, a wedge here for example right oh let's just get rid of that i mean it's not the be most beautiful wedge but uh it was certainly there right and basically rising wedges fall falling wedges break out to the uh, you know to the upside etc and if you know these rules as well then you just play the probabilities guys so over here it's a symmetric triangle it can go both ways normally in a downtrend this means continuation so i expect one more leg down however who knows right guys who knows uh we'll have to see what happens but uh that is just how i'm seeing it so this is not about just bitcoin guys this is about that question that someone asked me right what trading method is basically the best what do you guys think of elliott wave well what do i think of elliott wave guys as a conclusion um elliott wave is just another tool in my arsenal right i use it and i also use other tools so um yeah that's pretty much what i think of elliott wave guys and i hope i explained it well to you rg and uh yeah so this video was pretty much dedicated to that question guys if you got any questions you know just leave them in my telegram and i will certainly answer them also guys if you're not in my telegram yet join up with the crypto pies block where you can ask me any questions you can ask other people questions it's just a great chat box to be in right and um right so just join up with that also join up with the crypto pies feed where i post all my videos uh, post about upcoming ICOs. However, right now we're in a bearish zone for the crypto market, right? It's kind of like we're in a bearish market still. So you can expect bearish returns. So I don't put too many ICOs in here. That is because of the fact that I don't want you guys to lose money. And um, in order to not lose money, you shouldn't go into these ICOs right now, right? So yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Both telegrams will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, hit that post notification button. And if you got any questions at all, leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.